All right, Alfred Telefero, Mr. Telefero TV. When it rains, it pours. All right, Bobby Schmurder, man. Very, he had a very promising future. If you guys don't remember who Bobby Schmurder and the whole GS9 movement was, they had the record Hot Nigga. And in the climax of the Hot Nigga wave, Bobby Schmurder and the whole GS9 crew got arrested in his raid. We've seen people get 100 years, damn near 200 years, just for some of the things that even including murder, um, just a lot of things, right? This crew has literally killed any possibility of them being a, a formidable crew going forward in rap or whatever it is. The irony is the, the reason, a part of the reason how they got into this position was committing crime. Let's just be honest about it, all right? And it looks like things are going to get worse for Bobby Schmurder. For those who don't remember, I did a vlog on this a few weeks ago. Bobby Schmurder took the plea for seven years. Him and Rowdy Rebel. He, Bobby Schmurder could have did like five, but he took the two more years so him and Rowdy Rebel could get out at the same time. Live by a cold. Him and Rowdy, Rowdy Rebel can essentially do their time together. And one not don't have to be left without the other. But, I mean, it looks like Bobby Schmurder might get a couple more years added on to this if he's convicted. So Bobby Schmurder has admitted that he smuggled in a we a weapon, all right? It was a shank, all right? He this was Thursday. Um and, and I don't know what was the the situation, but he says his friend Kimberly passed him a shank. I'm gonna be honest with you for him to sneak that in, there's no telling where, where Bobby had to put this thing up or where he had to squeeze this maybe even between his butt cheeks, all right? I'm not going to really get into that because I've never been on that side of the of the cell, and I don't even want to speculate how it is and how you, what the, the measures you got to do to protect yourself. So I ain't going to say what this dude had to do to keep himself safe. I'm not going to even judge a, a, a dude for that. That would that would be against my code and my character to judge a man for what he got to do to 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 fight for himself in there. But it is very very depressing and sad from the standpoint of if Bobby Smurder is com convicted with um, attempt to promote prison contraband, he'll be facing up to four more years, which he can serve right after this seven-year sentence. He wouldn't even get out. That is the situation. He'll be sentenced in one month, and it's not looking good for GS9 anybody. I mean, it's been a tough couple years for these guys. And and, and it's crazy, man. Bo Hot nigga was, was popping. Bobby bitch was just starting to move. And now we're here. The crimes, man, the crimes. It's it's so crazy. You'd be surprised. I've heard so many hip-hop stories of what these rappers got to do to get on. I'm not saying this exactly was the reason why GS9 got on, because they did have a big record. But let's just be honest about the situation. Very depressing stuff. Alfred Telefero, Miss Telefero TV. My website re-releases March 1st. Comment that March 1st in the comment box if you rock with me and you're ready for my website to relaunch. Thank y'all for the time, love, and support. Salute. I'm out. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, make sure you hit me up at booking at Again, that's booking at